Hey everybody, welcome back to MicroRoadBeerReviews.com. Tonight, a uh, new brewery for us. Um, it's the Traditions Brewing Company out of Newport News, Virginia. Um, it's in this kind of really cool, um, I don't know what you would call it, like a shopping center hotel slash water fountain outdoor venue complex. Um, I actually saw this building being built um, many years ago, not many years ago, but um, a little bit ago. And they've really done a very good job of marketing it to the local community. They do some events and some cool stuff. The parking lot's usually really full. So this is one of their um, staples. This is their Hull 488 IPA. It's an Indian uh, style IPA. IBUs are 71. ABVs are 6.5. It is available year round. I bought it in a can. It was like 11 bucks for the can. I don't think it was or for the six pack. Not the can, the six pack. It wasn't that much. Um, Newport News, that area, the Norfolk Tidewater area, is known for building enormous ships. Um, so, hence the old hull here. Um, in in this can, we've got um, in the, the infusion of nugget, citra, and mosaic mosaic hops for a citrusy and velvet finish. Um, a brew known to withstand long journeys at sea. Hull 488 gives a nod to the SS United States. A luxury liner constructed in the early 1950s in our own hometown, Newport News, Virginia. Hence, said picture. So, let's get it into the glass, see what we have. And as we say, that's what it's all about. Um, pretty golden color. Uh, the, um, I can smell it already. It smells good. Um, a little, a little, a little hazy. I realize the lighting's not perfect, but it's not... It's not cloudy. There's not a lot of residual floating around. There's a little bit of haze. Actually, this is the trend these days. Is is super hazy, but this is kind of like what I would call middle of the road. Um, it's got a little bit of an orange tint to it. Decent carbonation coming out. Smells smells very nuggety, nugget hopped. Um, the mosaics are kind of coming out. It's definitely got some floralness to it. A little bit of that pine needle. A little bit of that um, the, the the fruit citrus part. It's kind of hard to pinpoint. It's almost like tangerine um, if that's a word. It smells good, though. I mean, the hops smell fresh. It's got a little bit of that grit, dirt bite to it, I think, from the nugget hops and the aroma. Um, but it smells fresh. You can tell there's more than one hop in there, too, which is the name of the game as well. So, as we always say, cheers. Let's get into the glass. Hmm. Different. Not at all what it uh, smells like. Um, it's got a nice front to it. It's a, it's pretty bitter. Um, should be at 71. It's got a little bit, again, that more kind of herbally-ish uh, pininess to it. A little bit of um, kind of a zest there that kind of pops in the front. And then it finishes with a pretty strong malty uh, background. Not caramely, but malty. Um, a little bit more on the, the heavier malt that I would have anticipated. Yeah, it's there. Um, it's, inter it's an interesting beer. Nothing really stands out um, front to back to the palate. The the aroma is is much more floral and kind of strange fruity than the palate. It is not fruity at all in the, in the palate right now. Um, it's decent. It's different. Um, it's kind of sippable. Uh, this isn't something I'd want to have like more than one of these. I mean, it's okay. It's not earth-shattering. It's a little different, um, so I'll definitely give it that. Um, I mean, it, again, the citra fruits, I'm looking at it again on the on the can. I, I can't pinpoint on these bad boys. But anyway, it's okay. I'll enjoy it. Um, we rate our beer between 1 and 5. If it's a 3 or higher, I'd probably buy it again at the 3. I probably wouldn't buy this again. This is about a 2.5 for me. It's It's okay. Um, it's it's definitely different than a lot of IPAs, which I give it a lot of credit for. I see what they're going after here. I think they should have gone a little bit more on the citra and mosaic side of the hops. Maybe not so much on the nugget side to bring out some more of the, the fruitiness, if that's what they were going off at, going out for in this one. Because I, I'm not feeling that at all. It's kind of just borderline for that. Um, but anyway... Um, it's not bad. I just, again, it didn't make me do a backflip. And that is the trend these days. I'm not picking on this brewery or this beer at all. 
I mean, it's 2018, and I go into the craft beer store, and I almost get bored now. I should get overwhelmed, but I almost get bored because there's just so much new stuff. It's great for the, the community and craft beer, and we'll get on that soapbox, but this blends right into the IPA new craft beer market that has exploded in the last three to four years for me. So if you've tried it, if you feel differently or the same, please leave comments on our YouTube channel or our website, microbeerviews.com. We upload all the time. We do appreciate you watching. And if you have not already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.